What's going on guys? In this video I'll be going through every clue in the My Hero Academia manga and anime that indicates that Dabi is the son of Endeavor. Despite having previously done theories about Dabi's childhood and his future, it occurred to me that I've never once done a video on why I'm so sure he's a Todoroki in the first place. Today we're going through all the evidence that supports this idea, all the way up to the latest chapters in the manga, so spoiler warning for those of you who don't want to know anything beyond season 4. The first question we should start with is who exactly is Toyo Todoroki? As we all know from the sports festival, Endeavor sought to create a child with the potential to surpass All Might, and Toyo was the first of his lab rats. Despite being the eldest child, we can see here that his growth was clearly stunted when compared to his other siblings, and Endeavor referred to Toya as having a weak constitution. Throughout the series we've had several instances of Dabi having a weak constitution, with one of the more subtle examples being back in the overhaul arc. During their ambush of the police, Dabi mentions to Spinner how he gets carsick and tells the lizard to stop swerving on the road. None of the other villains had a problem with Spinner's driving, so it was interesting that Horikoshi went out of his way to give Dabi this panel just to complain about his car sickness. When we flash forward to the My Villain Academia arc, we see again how frail Dabi's body is as his face randomly starts to bleed despite not taking any damage at that point, like he didn't take any hits or anything like that, and the overuse of his quirk began to make his skin look like it was gonna fall off. That battle was our first example of just how much Dabi's body can't really handle his firepower as we see consistent panels of smoke emanating from his from his mouth and from his arms. This wasn't the end of it though, as during the war arc we see again that Dabi continues to burn his own body, with the smoke being more prominent than ever before. Looking back at Endeavor's words about Toya, the full sentence was that the boy possessed even greater firepower than Endeavor himself, but inherited his mother's weak constitution. We now know that Dabi fulfills the criteria for having this weak body, but what about his firepower? As I'm sure you've all noticed, Dabi has had blue flames ever since his introduction to the series, and thanks to a quick google search, it is correct to say that blue flames are indeed hotter than the orange flames that we typically see from Endeavor. Whilst the big guy was able to use blue flames once in the anime, his level of firepower has never been enough to do it consistently, which is why he must have considered Toya to be even more impressive than himself. As a result, before we move on, we've confirmed that based on this statement from Endeavor, Dabi fulfills the criteria to be Toya because he has greater firepower and a weak constitution. Next up, let's take a look at some interesting things Dabi has said about the Todoroki family. The pro hero arc was the first time that Dabi and Endeavor came face to face, and what's important to remember about this interaction is that Endeavor had just finished an exhausting fight with the high end Nomu and had severely damaged his eye. Therefore, when he was looking at Dabi, his vision was totally blurry as it says here, which obviously gives him a perfect excuse to not recognize his own son in this moment. The first giveaway that Dabi already knew Endeavor is when he looks at the hero and asks, should I say nice to meet you? And we can see that the nice to meet you part is in bold, which implies that it wasn't a serious question. He then goes on to say that he and Endeavor should have a chat whilst they have this chance, which makes it seem like number one, there's something he wants to talk to Endeavor about, and number two, that he's been waiting for the right opportunity to do it. As Dabi began to escape, he specifically refers to Endeavor as Enji Todoroki, which is his full legal name. This is suspicious because there are only three occasions in the manga when Dabi has ever referred to someone by his full name. The first being when he encountered Shoto Todoroki, the second being when he met Enji Todoroki, and the final being during his fight with Hawks. Each of those situations was unique, but there's one thing that makes his meeting with Shoto and Endeavor particularly special. These were the first times that Dabi had encountered those characters, you know? It was the first time he had met Shoto and he called him by his full name, and it was the first time he had met Endeavor and he also called him by his full name. What reason is there for this weird formality with the Todoroki family? As a quick comparison, you know, Bakugo was the kid that he was kidnapping and he didn't refer to Bakugo by his full name. In my opinion, this is a subtle hint towards his connection to the Todoroki family. The other suspicious moment that happened during the pro hero arc was how Dabi excitedly looked forward to getting another chance to talk with Endeavor in the future. 
and he says that he hopes Endeavor can stay alive until they next get the chance to meet. If we flash forward to chapter 231, Dabby again shows that he prioritizes Endeavor's life as he orders Hawks to kill any hero except the number one. I need you guys to appreciate how ridiculous that is because Dabby says here that Hawks must kill someone to show his loyalty to the anti-establishment cause and there would be nothing more anti-establishment than killing the number one hero. Yet, for some reason, Dabby doesn't want that to happen. Clearly, whatever message that Dabby wants to tell Endeavor, it's so important that it, it almost overrides um, what his main goal, what you would assume his main goal would be. Therefore, to recap everything so far, Dabby fits Endeavor's description of Toya Todoroki, and he has a specific message that he wants to tell Endeavor and refuses to let anything happen to Endeavor until he can do that. He also refers to members of the Todoroki family by their full names despite only meeting them for the first time supposedly. It's only Todoroki family members that get this treatment. Now moving on, all members of the Todoroki family believe that Toya is dead and we see that Endeavor has built a memorial dedicated to his oldest son. Toya's age in this photo basically confirms that his death happened around 10 years ago but let me explain why. Toya was the oldest child, which by default makes him between 3 to 4 years older than Natsuo. Natsuo was 19 when we first met him, meaning that if Dabi is Toya, he's at least 22 when we first see him in the anime, but he's also possibly 23 years old or 24. Therefore, 10 years ago, Dabi would have been middle school age, which is when this final photo was taken before Toya's death. This is important because during the sports festival, All Might revealed that he hadn't seen Endeavor since a press conference 10 years ago. What was this press conference that occurred around the time of Toya's death? And why, later in the manga, did Endeavor reveal that he may as well have killed Toya himself? Is it not possible that the press conference that All Might is referring to was somehow related to the incident that killed Toya? And perhaps by Endeavor failing to stop this incident, maybe that's why he bears some responsibility for what happened. I certainly think it's plausible that this is related, but let me know your thoughts on it down below. Moving on, it's a fact that Natsuo was very close with his older brother and stated that Toya always told him everything. It's for that reason that 10 years later, Natsuo can still not forgive Endeavor and cries at the memories of what happened back in the day. Natsuo's relationship with Toya is very relevant when we look at this incident of Dabi crying in chapter 191 and I'm going to explain why it's likely that he shed tears about Natsuo in this moment. For full context of this scene, Dabi had previously killed the pro hero called Snatch and just before he dealt the finishing blow, the hero asks Dabi if he ever thought about the families who have to live with the loss because of Dabi's actions. We know that the Todoroki family suffered the loss of their eldest son 10 years ago and I think this statement by Snatch is what caused Dabi to, for once, think about those who were living with the loss of Toya's death. It's clear he doesn't care about Endeavor or Shoto, but one person who could cause him to shed bloody tears like this would be his little brother Natsuo. Remember that in the chapter immediately after we see Dabi crying, Natsuo angrily shouts at Endeavor and refers to some unknown incident involving his big bro Toya. Furthermore, when the younger brother visited their mother in the hospital, he mentioned again how he couldn't forgive Endeavor for what he did to her, what he did to Shoto, and what he did to a mystery person who is obviously Toya. On both occasions when Natsuo mentioned his older brother, he was unable to finish the sentence and he never quite elaborated on what exactly happened to Toya, which indicates the events must have been quite traumatizing. With all that said, an interesting piece of trivia before we move on to the next part is that Endeavor's memorial to Toya is presumably located in Toya's old room as we see this football in the corner which we know he's played with in the past. Other things that support the idea that Dabi is Toya includes his physical features, specifically his eyes, his smile and his skin grafts. To start with the eyes, we've seen a wide variety of eyes in this series ranging from the Mirio eyes to the Deku eyes to the Aizawa eyes, basically there's a wide variation of different eye designs. This makes it interesting when we compare Shoto, Dabi and Endeavor because they have near identical eyes when it comes to both the colour and the, the shape and the design of them. 
And when we then compare them to Toya himself, you'll see that the similarity remains. Another eye comparison that was quite interesting was how Dabi's angry eyes that we saw during My Villain Academia were almost like a mirror image of Rei Todoroki's eyes when she had a mental breakdown. Regardless though, Dabi's most defining physical feature is the skin grafts that he has stapled all over his body. Skin grafts are patches of skin that are placed on top of areas that have been previously burnt, and the fact that Dabi has these skin grafts indicates that he's been through some kind of trauma that burned off parts of his skin. When we remember that Toya Todoroki had a weak constitution that couldn't handle his own flames, it all starts to come together. If Toya survived the accident that supposedly killed him, then it's probable he'd need skin grafts similar to what Dabi has now. When we take a look at his smile, you'll notice that in recent chapters he's been smiling a lot, and I thought that this panel of him here was very reminiscent of this panel of Fuyumi, who is presumably his younger sister. I thought their smiles looked relatively similar here, like the design, you could believe that they were siblings just based on how similar these smiles look. The final piece of relevant information that links Dabi to Toya is the fact that Dabi's real name has been consistently kept a secret from the very beginning. During their first encounter, Shigaraki asks Dabi for his real name and the villain refused to say it, telling Shigaraki that he'll know when he needs to know it. Then, when we flash forward to Kamino, Gran Torino and the police were able to uncover the names of all the League of Villain members except Dabi and Shigaraki. After this, a similar thing happened during the war arc when Hawks looked into the villain's backstories and he said that he could find information on everyone except Dabi and Shigaraki again. I did a theory video explaining why I believe Dabi's identity is so hard to uncover, but it's important to note that this is, this is by Dabi's own design. Literally none of the villains know what his real name is, despite him spending 99% of his time with them. And it was therefore a big surprise when Dabi straight up told Hawks what his name was in chapter 267. We as an audience weren't able to see what it was, but Hawks' reaction tells us that it's a name he recognizes. If he is a Todoroki, from Hawks' perspective, it's a big deal because we all know Hawks is a massive fan of Endeavor um, and he's worked closely with Endeavor. So to hear that this is a Todoroki or Endeavor's son, yeah, I mean, I would react like this as well. Based on the clues that I've presented in this video, those are the reasons why I think that Dabi has to be Toyo Todoroki. It's not guaranteed, but in my opinion it is, but you may think differently. If you like this video, then I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And until the next one, peace out.